Text me when you leave. video. Yesterday I went into Manhattan to pick up a gift from a mutual friend on social media that sent me these gifts from Egypt, like all the way from Egypt. This is not something that I'm used to, so I'm super touched by it. I read the note already. I haven't actually opened the gift yet or looked at the scroll, so I'm gonna do that right here just because I think it's really cool that someone went to the lengths to send me these. His friend was in New York City and that's who brought the gifts over. This is the front of the little postcard and a picture of pyramids. I feel like it's like my birthday. <laughs> Funny fact, actually, when I was growing up, I had these books designed for children. One of them was Dragonology, one of them was Wizardology, and the other one was Egyptology. And I was so fascinated with the Egyptology one for years, for like at least two or three years because it taught a lot about Egyptian culture in a way that was friendly for kids to understand with a lot of like pull-out covers and a lot of little things in there. Some of y'all might remember those books, maybe some of y'all had them. Oh wow, okay. So this is a tourist map of Egypt. I want to frame these and put them on my wall. I am putting this on my keychain. I'm always so like taken aback when people take the time to kind of do something for others and this for me is actually really touching in a way. It's really kind for someone who I've never met in real life to think of me and send me some things from their country. It's beautiful, oh my god. Oh, this is so stunning. I don't know if y'all can see, but there's little glimmering, sparkling pieces inside. And in here, I'm not gonna read this, but just to summarize it, they thank me for my positive impact, and they say I have a light in me that shines really bright, and I'll get wherever I want. So yeah, thank you, Mustafa. If you're watching this, I'm gonna treasure these things that you've sent me, and keep them as a reminder of your kindness. I had to send a little note saying thank you. Before we get into the rest of today's video, I do want to share with y'all a little bit about today's sponsor, Aura. These days, anyone can find pretty much anything online, including your personal information, such as your full legal name, your email addresses, your phone numbers, etc. This is why Aura is such an important app to have. Aura has pretty much every internet safety tool you'll ever need, all inside one app. If you sign up right now using my link, Aura will give you a two-week free trial. Last year after I first started using Aura, I actually found out that my login credentials were leaked online. Aura immediately notified me and took care of the problem. All of this information is accessible because data brokers profit off of selling your private information to robocalls, telemarketers, spammers, and scammers. Aura continuously monitors the dark web for your emails, passwords, and social security number, and as soon as they find something, they send an alert to your phone or email. Aura also gives you real-time alerts for suspicious credit inquiries, like if someone is trying to open a credit card or a loan in your name. 
They automatically send requests to data brokers on your behalf to remove your information, helping reduce the amount of robocalls and spam that you receive. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Their VPN allows you to stay anonymous online, keeping your browsing history and personal information safe and encrypted. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. Protect your family and yourself from identity theft by visiting aura.com slash quincyj. If you sign up right now using my link, Aura will give you a two week free trial. The link is also in the description box below. Now back to today's video. For anyone that's interested in some love tunes, chill February love moods playlist, I made a Spotify playlist, bunch of love songs, some soul, some pop, some R&B. The link is in the description below. Check it out if you want. Sorry to those who use Apple Music. Spotify's interface is superior. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go grocery shopping today. I need to get a New York hat. It is about to get real cold this weekend. I think it's gonna get down to like nine degrees Fahrenheit. It hasn't really been that cold since those few days in December. I'm not really looking forward to it, but it's been a mild winter, so can't complain too much. This weekend, I'm gonna see some of my friends who I haven't seen in a while. Looking forward to it. And my best friend actually from college is turning 30, so. <laughs> pretty excited for her. It's a big occasion, it's a big day. It's nice to see her grow and transform into an amazing young woman. We have been friends for almost 10 years now. We met in our acapella group in college. <laughs> and even though we haven't always lived close to each other, even though we don't talk every single day, the bond has stayed really close. And every time we see each other, it's like, no time has passed at all. So I'm really excited to see her. I'm excited to celebrate with her. Oh, red light cannot run red lights in Queens because the cops are everywhere. I haven't gone into Manhattan to go out since like October. Ready to party. <laughs>
Jersey, I knew there was a reason why I didn't get a New York hat because they're all ugly. All right, so I found the hat that I want. Unfortunately, this urban didn't have it, but they have it in other ones. I'm not going to East Village, but I am going there tomorrow. I'm gonna go and try to find it. Let's see. They like urban outfitters. Getting ready to go out to my friend's birthday party. Don't mind my hideous, dirty bed. These are my options for clothes. This jersey and these joggers. Or hat, shirt, and these with my Nikes. I'm leaning towards this one, just because it's something new for me. I feel like a gay, off-brand Carhartt model. I need to work on the lighting in this room. Fluorescent lighting is the death of mixed people. It's terrible. I'm wearing the hat.
brunch with my friend Kirk. Kirk has been featured in a YouTube video before, so you might recognize him if you see him. I have been driving into Manhattan because I just haven't wanted to take the train in the cold weather. And from Queens, it's like an hour to get into the city, and I don't know, I'm just kind of over the train. I have a car, so I might as well use it. It's Sunday, free parking. Not gonna be drinking a lot, so it's safe to drive. And I get to bump my tunes on the way into the city. All positive things, all positive. This is the simplest meal I can make these days. I use ground beef, quinoa for high protein, put some peppers in there, some onion, of course a lot of seasoning, and I usually top it off with some hot sauce. Y'all know I love hot sauce. If you're looking for a little bit healthier version of this, you can use ground turkey instead of ground beef. Although this is pretty lean, it's about 85% lean, 15% fat. This is a great post-workout meal because of the quinoa with the carbs and the protein. And yeah, it's pretty easy, pretty quick. Lots of leftovers, which I love. Some of y'all might be wondering where I'm going now, and the answer to that question is the Dominican Republic. I am going to meet my boyfriend there. I haven't seriously dated anyone since 2020, and it wasn't expected. It came about really naturally. I met him last summer, and then we just happened to meet again in September by chance, and we got talking, and started having some good conversation, and I realized he was really smart and intelligent, and just fun to be around. So we started going on some dates and yeah, here we are now. He's originally from DR, so I'm going to where he's from. We're gonna have a fun week, kind of just going around the country. I have the best tour guide because he's from the area, so 
I'm really excited. I watched the Grammys the other night and yeah, I fell asleep towards the end. So I actually missed the album of the year announcement, which in hindsight, I'm really happy about because Beyonce did not win. I think that's four years, four separate years that Beyonce has lost album of the year. It's just mind blowing to me considering the level of artistry and the attention to detail and you know, the quality of all of her albums. Don't look at how I'm folding the clothes. <laughs> it's super disappointing for multiple reasons. Probably the thing that disappoints me the most is that a black woman hasn't won album of the year since 1999. That's what, 24 years? There's not, I don't even know if there's a word for it, but it's, it's absolutely mind blowing. I'm not gonna knock Harry Styles because he had a good album, but in my opinion, it wasn't the level of Renaissance. It didn't have the cultural impact that Renaissance had. You know, the meaning behind Renaissance of black queer trailblazers who really created their own dance category back in the day. And what a lot of people don't understand, I didn't even know this before Renaissance, which is why Renaissance was such a big deal because it helped everyone realize and understand that a lot of those black queer artists were the ones who started these dance genres, these electronic dance genres way long ago, before the music that we know of today as EDM, before, you know, dance techno music that we have, before house music. Those were black people, those were queer people, those were women, and they don't get their due a lot of the time. So that's why Renaissance was such a huge kind of achievement for Beyonce and the people who helped her put it together. Yeah, I don't have much else to say about that. It's disappointing, but you know, it's the Grammys. We all know what to expect when it comes to Grammys and their history of kind of snubbing Beyonce, snubbing Mariah Carey back in the day, over the years. A lot of people who deserve Grammys and deserve accolades don't end up getting them, and thank goodness that's not what music is all about. We'll remember the people who win Grammys, we'll remember, you know, their albums and stuff, but we're really gonna remember the people who make a difference in our own personal lives, and Beyonce is part of that. And that, I think, is much more important to Beyonce than any award could ever could ever be. I'm gonna be real with myself right now. I am not finishing packing. I don't leave for a few days, so I have time tomorrow and the next day. <laughs> Instead, I'm gonna watch The Last of Us because I haven't caught the new episode yet. If y'all haven't been watching, I definitely suggest it. It's freaky, it's scary, it's touching, surprisingly, so let's see. <laughs> Thank you.